Good afternoon, Sacred Spiritual Healer. With your career in finance, and I didn't put the mic on, did I? Hopefully that's better. Alright, so we have the Old Spirit Sage. That's very nice. Blessed Sage so I can spray it in addition to burning without putting off the smoke detectors. <laughs> Which has happened a few times. So, let's get to it. Spirit, give us true precise messages for the collective for their career and finance today. True precise messages for their career and finance, please. Their workplace. Hopefully. A little less drama than the last couple readings. We'll pick up maybe some different energy. Seven of Rods. Looks like we're still going to be battling at work. The battle persists on. I feel like this is as the world turns, or as the spirit turns. Verifying messages. Two precise messages. Two precise messages for the collective regarding their career and finances. Seven of Cups choices. Eight of Rounds. So you got choices, communication coming in. Someone might be looking for work here if they have choices, right? And maybe they're hearing soon about an opportunity that's going to come to them. And the chariot's going to move forward, so someone's going to be moving jobs, moving, relocating their homes, perhaps. Okay, did do the addition of the smaller. We moved to a smaller room for better acoustics and then added a mic. So hopefully, it sounds a little bit better than uh, the first few videos. All right, so here we have seven of cups choices things that are going to be the uh, you know that you're looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, per se. You want it handed to you like a gift, uh, not a head on the platter type thing. You're looking for things to move rapidly and be very fruitful in. Uh, your growth of uh, financial matters um, in addition to uh, the cups could be also um, affection or love 
uh, love for the work. You want to have choices regarding your passion for the job you do. Thank you, sir. Um, and that communication is coming in regarding uh, more prosperous and uh, opportunities that will blossom and bloom other areas of your life. You're seeing things as black and white right now, though. You're like, you, it's either going to be my way or the highway type. Because um, this color is, card is coming across as just a black and white card, practically. But that the uh, try to see it with a new perspective. See it as an opportunity for growth. Perhaps someone didn't plan on leaving their job. Perhaps they lost their job. Um, and so now they're looking for choices. They're hoping for choices and looking for that communication. But it says that you're going to get that opportunity. You are getting the position in which you chose that you would have that passion for. The chariot wants to move forward regarding the person that's hiring you or a boss-like figure. Um, you're receiving messages from your higher self as well regarding this uh, direction. So be tuned to your spirit guides. All right, Ten of Pentacles. You're going to be very prosperous in this new job, this new home, this new move for you and your family. It's going to be everything you hoped for in the sense of Ten is an ending. But at the same time, when we have an ending, we have a beginning. So you're going to be prosperous in this new beginning with your new home and family. The position here, though, underneath the Eight of Rods, as we mentioned about a different perspective. This is the hangman, but it's not upright. It's in reverse. The hangman usually puts himself in a hangman position for gaining a different perspective, looking at things from someone else's point of view, putting themselves in another person's shoes to see it, how they felt in that position, and if they would have uh, acted in the same sense. But this is in reverse, refusing to do that, refusing to take a look at, from another perspective or putting their shoe, putting themselves in another person's shoes and to see how it would have felt to them or how they would have uh, acted in a workplace in situation and so forth. Especially if this is regarding someone losing a job, perhaps you felt like it was unjustly so, but if you put yourself in the boss's position, perhaps you could see it from a different point of view. Um, if it's regarding love or passion or family, then again, put yourself in the other party's shoes and say, okay, would I have accepted that kind of behavior? Would I have done, yada, 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 you know the story, um, better than anyone if this resonates with you. All right, so Four of Cups, um, Spirit's giving you these choices. You have choices all around you, but um, these are not the choices that, thank you, Spirit, I have to correct this. Spirit's giving you the choice that you're supposed to select the divine choice, the one that Spirit is handing you to, and ignore the choices that you think are set for you. The ones that you want are over here. The ones that divine is guiding you to that's in your uh, best for your highest good, for your highest self, your highest good, um, for the best growth, the best outcome, etc. Um, Spirit says, to ignore these, choose the one that the Spirit's handing you, and listen to your intuition. Look at the signs around you. These uh, Spirit has been handing you this cup of love, this cup of passion that um, is divinely guided and handed to you from the divine for your highest good, and yet you are refusing to see it. You're, the cards, literally, the guy is like almost looking glaring down like I refuse to see it that way I refuse to look at it from that perspective a very stubborn very um, perhaps earth energy there's a tree here green growth trees are here so uh, maybe you're so stubborn you're being you're grounding putting your feet into the ground like a stubborn energy about it uh, four pentacles, also earth. Pentacles are earth. Um, balance, though. You want stability. Very dark um, energy around you. Clouds, um, kind of a cloudy um, environment for you right now. But that you, all you can think about is your pentacles. In your heart, you want more pentacles. And in your hands, you are working hard for pentacles because your focus is stability. And again, we have, and this is a career and finance reading, so at least we have the pentacles showing up great, right? Because in so many other readings lately, we've gotten more love or passion 
um, fighting, things of that nature. So um, for your career and finance, it looks like it's really blossoming uh, for today. And that's a, you should be tent of pentacles, balance, stability in your pentacles, right? Maybe having passion for that divine job that you were meant to have. Eight of pentacles, still working very hard to build those pentacles, to build your stability. Listening now to your higher self after you've probably received that aha moment. And then there's that death. That's being sent in from spirit because maybe you refuse to see it from another perspective. You refuse to say or to accept the one that was for your highest good and you chose perhaps something that's going to cause now a karmic lesson. Um, so the death card is here for an ending. It's going to put an end to either the old job or the job you chose instead of the divine choice. But there will be enlightenment regarding this. And um, so that things can bloom as they should have, um, things have to die off. Just like in the fall and winter, things die. And in the spring, things reseed and bloom again, right? And so death is here like the winter to kill off the things that were not meant for you. Seven of Swords choosing those things that are leaving behind things that are no longer good for you. Hopefully it's the things that divines that don't uh, mess with. The forbidden fruit, per se. Now you're moving forward. You're not very proud of the choice you made. Your head's being hung down low, carrying your sling and your swords over your shoulders like, fine, I'll take my toys and go home attitude is the energy in this because who carries a sword like that? That means his hands on the blaze. He's got the handles up in the air like he doesn't even care if he's doing things properly. He's looking down at the ground. He's not holding his head up high with confidence or pride, right? And we've got, while we do have clouds here, they do look a little bit passionate. So perhaps passion is misplaced in this overall energy on this. Let's clarify, shall we? Knight of Sword. It's like the White Knight moving forward with truth. Alright, so he's going to be moving forward in truth. So let's get, clarify Seven of Cups Spirit. Clarify Seven of Cups, please, for the collective regarding their clear moment. Thank you. Anything else? Alright, so Seven of Cups clarified by the Six of cup, uh, Coins, Pentacles, the equal give and take balance you're gaining um you just chose to balance your coins move to calmer waters and this choice that um, brings you ten of cups which is enough abundance and the nest egg set aside for the ones you and the one you love there's multiple parties in this cup but it is a ten of cups passion fulfillment right so that's what you're starting off with is, is your passion and your love perhaps looking for the job that you have passion for this is career and finance let's clarify that eight of rods that's communication coming in from the divine communication about that job opportunity that you're looking for more communication saying Page of Wands. Page of Wands, communi more communication. It's you standing, um, holding on, standing your ground, speaking your your voice, your opinion, um, very coldly though, as the background looks like a ice, um, ice over waterfall. So, but look at that bird just speaking out, singing it, uh, you know, telling it like it is, is the energy I get on that card. There's nothing wrong with that being in your truth. Speak it. As long as when you're speaking your mind, you're speaking your truth. And they're speaking it out about the chariot moving forward with the empress, things that are blossoming, fruitful, or greener pastures, calm waters, love, abundance. The 
Empress is the Queen of Swords, Queen of Coins, Queen of Rods, and Queen of Cups all in one. She's very compassionate, smart, um, driven, and abundant. So we got some passion in here for the workplace. Uh, the work you do, not actually the job you do for the type of work you do right here. And again, we have the Seven of Cups. That's what your focus is. This is on top of the Ten of Pentacles. You are looking for that passion. You want choices. You want the um, to fill your cups with love in many avenues. You want multiple choice. You don't want just one. You want your choice, please. You want... Hang on, something about that card. It's like you want to have your cake and eat it too, almost, um, energy. You know, we have the Knight of Swords coming forth in their truth again. That already came out, but that was the next card on top of this book. Um, so the Seven of Cups, is this energy is like, I want my cake and eat it too. I'm going to take the love of my work, the love of my life, and I want to have a passionate friend on the side. Perhaps I want to have a hobby or um, some kind of addiction that I want to still be able to indulge in. Um, and yeah, maybe that's more. You want the opportunity to indulge in more than uh, one of everything, whatever you want. You want what you want your cake and eat it too. That's really the energy I'm getting from this card. Ten of Cups, maybe you didn't get that. Or Ten of Pentacles, perhaps you didn't get that. You're getting the money, you're getting the house, you're getting the family with the child. Um, the Knight of Swords is coming in with the truth, uh, like a white knight, rapidly, fast, un, um, uncontrolled, out of control. Um, out of control truth. Thank you, Spirit. Which is, I'm getting the same energy on this as this. Maybe somebody has a blow up at work, um, speaks their mind the way it is um, regarding an empress or regarding the not being paid enough, not having their choices of what they think they should have their um, choice of, you know, different department, different pay scale different job altogether, perhaps a position that they were overlooked for. The hangman is queen of swords, yeah, not, and king of pentacles. So regarding, okay, so it's both regarding, you're refusing to see from another person's perspective regarding your pentacles. You feel that you've earned the throne uh, as a king of pentacles in the workplace, you've earned your position and you should be paid better for it, is what this really is. Um, and you're not afraid to speak your truth as the queen of swords energy always does. She cuts a sharp, sharp two-sided sword. Her tongue is a two-sided sword. Cuts either way but with truth but bluntness. And that page of pentacles, because that's what... They're looking for the growth. They want their pentacles to be able to have enough to set aside bringing that message regarding that pentacles. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. So, clarify the Four of Cups here. Clarify the Four of Cups. Thank you. With the chariot. Again, the chariot underneath the chariot wants to move forward. Remember, the chariot was right here under the Empress. Right there. And we have another chariot. This is movement forward. The person that's ignoring the divine's cup, um, refusing to see that the divine choice, just moving forward on their own, thinking they can do it their way, being very stubborn about it. That usually equates, uh, ends up with a, well, a death or a tower moment. <laughs> um, in my experience, I ignore a spirit that tells me to do something. Next thing you know, down with the flu or car breaks down, flat tire somewhere because I was stubborn. So, 
um, this energy of being refusing to see what divine is trying to show you, that, um, refuse to see it from another perspective, is only going to um, harm yourself and your better, highest good because you're going to end up with a tunnel run. You're going to end up with the death card or something happening to dump you out of the boat so that you either sink or swim. Uh, seven of coins building that nest egg uh, for, on top of the four of pentacles. So, yeah, you want stability, but you also want enough of that um, nest eggs to set enough to set aside for that rainy day, enough to set aside for when you retire and no longer have to work, right? The American dream. Um, let's see, eight of pentacles, working hard, listening to your higher self, perhaps ignoring those intuitive messages, but the eight of swords is here to nine of swords my bad is here keeping you up at night regarding all the mistakes that you've made all those little karmic lessons you've earned all the lies perhaps that you've told or trickery i don't know why that came out because nothing else came up with um, that being truthful but that's just what i hate heard so confirmed with the king of sword we have a royal couple here now the queen of sword on the table and the king of sword again in his truth sitting in his power, listening to his ancestors and his spirit guides. So this is on top of death, right? He's listening, but he's not doing, not acting. So there's a death, again, on top of the death. <laughs> so again, I don't know what two death cards on top of each other equate to, but pretty sure if we pull another one. Uh, so it confirms or uh, clarify these death cards on top of death cards. Five of Wands, communication, but battles. Death ends up in a fight, and finally going into the hangman, finally going into... Um, thinking about this, seeing it from a different perspective now. Why? Because you've had battles, you've had been up all night um, thinking and replaying these things that went on, fighting for it, and had death after death. So now you're going to go into hangman mode as spirit originally asked you to and see it from a different perspective so that you can move move forward. And maybe you won't be real happy after having those, you know, sleepless nights and death cards. Perhaps that's why he's hanging his head low, but at least he's moving forward. He's taking that step, the leap of, well, I can't take that, but he's the faith that he cares what he didn't But the four of pentacles ends up with at least stability, right? One for it himself one for later and one in each hand but the wheel wants a fortune is here to give you prosperity because now you've gone in and done as spirit asked you looked at it from another perspective and you're rewarded you will be abundant like the queen of pentacles and the king of cups still having the passion and the love for what you do but in the divine uh, work that spirit led you to by the star he told you to follow the star just like what was that uh the bethlehem there they followed the star so that you'll have four of wands good communication blossoming um and uh with passion knights of wands moving forward in communication unbridled but the sun is out and nine of wands um, so that you are freed from the um holding yourself back regarding communication you're going to take your one one wand of communication and go move forward anything else there anything else for the current finance anything else for the current finance ace of swords communication honest and you'll end up with the uh, five of cups there may be cups spilt but you will still have the two to one for you and one to share or spare if you don't want to share any 
anything else. Is there anything else? I'm starting to look through. Ah, there you go. You you will, and then you will receive accolades. You'll be seen as um, looked up to by your peers or others. The communication is moving upward towards you in the center of attention. You will be given uh, awards or accolades for the job you do because you went above and beyond um, the others. Messages from Spirit. What other messages, Spirit? What other messages? Dance with life. Do something to charge, to change your energy. Yeah, see something from another perspective. Dance with life. Do something that's going to be more uplifting. The mirror. Who or what is triggering you? That person that's triggering you is giving you a gift of lessons. The things don't happen for to you. They happen for you as a lesson to grow spiritually within yourself to get to know yourself better. Soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do this alone. You have friends. Trust in that wiggle that um, your intuition is that wiggle in your stomach that says um, try, it's trying to tell you something. It's your intuition. don't know why they call it niggle. But. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? Yes. How are you being called in, in what field? Not what you want, but what are you being called to? How are you being called to step up and leave? Transformation. You're currently going through a transformation, most likely. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing is occurring at this time. Thank you. Have a blessed day.